I've been using a prosthetic ice axe for a good, oh, around about 20 years, I would say now. I've got a congenital birth defect. Once you're in the climbing world, nobody really bothers me that much. You know, I mean, it's a strange thing, but for folks see you do everyday stuff, this is the bit that really amazes everybody. How can he tie his shoelaces? <laughs> I had a fall ice climbing about 10 years ago, and I smashed my ankle to pieces, and ever since then, you know, the ankle's been really painful. I've had a lot of surgeries on it and trying to come back again. My knees and my hips are now suffering quite a lot. But just the past few winter seasons, between the prosthetic being uncomfortable and cold and painful, and then the ankle and all my joints starting to go that way, it was just becoming, like, too much. While I was just considering it, I seen uh, Maureen Beck, who's an adaptive climber in the States, who had been using a prosthetic and she was climbing without it. And I just thought, well, I'll just give that a try and see how it goes. So this is the prosthetic that I've been using now for, you know, 15 years. And it, it's such a simple wee thing, I suppose, but for me, that's allowed me to, you know, go climb fairly hard stuff. It's just allowed me to climb in general. I can only wear a very, very light liner glove inside it. But it's not the same as wearing a glove. And it's, it's so many other limitations. But I kind of feel guilty saying anything bad about this axe because it's allowed me to do so much. <laughs> like, I'm never going to say anything really that negative about it. So, I mean, that worked for years for me, but I just think now is, it's just time for change. These are my, my Gore-Tex ones that Rob actually make up for me. Uh, they're really, really good. Rabbit doing stuff like this for me, modifying kit and just helping out in general when I need stuff that's a bit, you know, it's certainly not your regular order or regular request that they probably get for most of their, their team. It's, it sounds so innocuous, I suppose, to, you know, almost everybody that will watch this. You know, you can just go to a shop, buy a pair of gloves, and it's just almost as simple as that. Without a doubt, the most support a sponsor I've ever had, without a doubt. I was really lucky that uh, Black Diamond gave me a set of these tools just when they were coming out, and they're absolutely fantastic. And it's just a really good fit, and this, like, the lip and everything is really good to, to fit my hand on, because that's what I do now, so I'm placing them on my right, then I have to match my hand onto this to take the other tool out and move on. And uh, yeah, they just work really, really well. When my hand gets cold, it expands. And then the prosthetic, when it gets cold, it shrinks. So for every pitch that you do, it's just like this really painful fight to try and get the ax on and off all the time. It just becomes really uncomfortable. And it almost distracts you and takes away the pleasure of what you're doing. So being able to just hold an axe like relatively like everybody else, been able to wear gloves, been able to switch axes. These are all bonuses that I've never had before. But on the flip side of that, I guess I can't move as fast because I can't just like place, place, place and work my way up. Like plans wise, like, it definitely makes me think that, you know, this is probably the way ahead for me is climbing waterfall ice, like relatively short, but quite, quite technical. Brilliant. That's pretty good. Enjoyed that. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not going to get wet. I'm not going to get wet. Oh. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, that's the highlight of the day, dude.